Hello my beautiful Cancers and welcome to your general reading. Today we're going to be seeing what is coming towards you, family, lover, friend or foe. Please remember the energies in the readings can go vice versa so just take what resonates, switch the gender, switch the world, do what you've got to do and leave the rest. If you'd like to book a personal reading or for anything else, all the information on how to do so is in the description box below, okay? So firstly we're going to start off with your career, your project, your idea. We're going to get a card on that, what's in your environment, what action you can take in order to implement some kind of movement with whatever it is that you want to do and then we're going to pull general messages on you know your life and see if anything else comes up okay so let's start off with your career your idea or your project let's get a card that represents that it's going to be different for different people okay for some of you, you could be already in a job and you're trying to figure out okay where am i going with this what's my next move for others of you, you may want to you know entrepreneurship or you've got some kind of idea so let's just see okay so this is for my beautiful cancerians Oh, beautiful. So the energy that's representing your project, your career, is the Queen of Earth. So that's the Queen of Pentacles. So beautiful energy. You could be dealing with a Capricorn, but it doesn't have to be, or, or another Earth placement. And then we have the Seven of Create. So I feel like it's been like a um, rough ride when it comes to you climbing to the top, but you will get there, okay? So if you're thinking about a project or an idea and you want to know the result or where it's going to kind of, um, if it's going to flourish or not, the answer is yes. You're definitely going to be making a lot of money or at least be comfortable, okay? It's a really good and practical decision. Okay, for some of you, I'm getting something about cooks. You want to work with your hands or materials or something to do with mother earth nature okay or just natural things natural products but if you're thinking about investing in something or thinking about working with someone who's an earth sign the answer is yes okay for some of you you could be getting a new job or you're thinking should i apply for this am i going to get the role i feel like you are okay but this is gorgeous energy for some of you you're already at the top of your field with something that it is that you're doing Okay, so gorgeous. So let's just see the um, card that represents you. But I'm just getting your idea, your project or your job or the role that you're going to be in is very lucrative, okay? So the cards just went everywhere. So one second, guys. So let's get a card that represents you right now. Sorry, guys. It's going all over the place. Okay, it's for my beautiful... Um... Okay, well, what's going on? We have the three of think. Okay, and then we have the six of think at the bottom of the deck. So right now, I kind of feel like you feel... Because she kind of looks really dissatisfied. Like she's upset or she's hurt. So for some of you, I kind of feel like you feel like something that you're doing isn't going to work out. Okay? Now, if you are like... um you know, a manager of some kind, I feel like you may have to fire someone and like allow someone to let them go and move on because they're kind of disrupting your, you know, your business or maybe you're trying to work with someone, but it's just not working out because you kind of feel um, the card that's representing you right now is kind of just like you're, you're hurt about something or you feel like you have to move or you have to move on. So maybe you're currently somewhere and it's a lot of money is very lucrative, but maybe you're bored or the people around you kind of hurt your feelings or it's just not emotionally fulfilling. For others of you, I feel like you have to fire someone or um, maybe you kind of just want to do something on your own, okay? But you kind of just, because I'm getting like no hard feelings, like you want to move on, but it's like, you know what, but I don't want to have to kind of... um upset you or upset me or something but you're upset about something or you feel like something isn't going to go your way maybe you're kind of going through a heartbreak right now and that's kind of um clouding your judgment when it comes to something or you know like if you have to move on from a new place you know it's, it's hard to let go it's hard to say goodbye but something else is just better money or it's just more fulfilling okay because that, that's what it looks like to me it looks like something that you're currently in if you are in a workplace you're getting everything that you want, you're comfortable, you're stable, but there's, you know, you don't enjoy it or you don't enjoy the people or it's kind of like killing you inside. For others of you, I feel like there's something that's affecting you that's kind of not allowing you to see the value in something. I'm also getting put your pain into a project. So if you are in pain right now, use that energy to fuel it into something that you want to do and you're going to see, you know, some good results. Okay, so we have full, which is in your environment right now. So yeah, I feel like you need to let go and kind of travel or move on. Start fresh, take a risk. I feel like you need new scenery. Okay, or you could be like an apprentice where you're starting something. You know, at the beginning, you could just be thinking, oh, I don't know if this is going to do really well. It is, okay? I just feel like you're kind of talking yourself out or something this could be someone else as well because i don't even see your energy here okay yeah we have justice at the bottom of the deck okay what action do you need to take 
the four of uh no okay that's too many cards it's like three cards there we just want one justice came out once again so you need to make the right choice you need to live your truth because i'm getting something like the truth hurts here maybe for some of you it's like a legal court system or something that you want to work in at or well, that's what you're currently doing and the money's amazing, but it's kind of like you don't like the way you feel after cases or you're getting emotionally attached, okay? But I feel like you need to do what's balanced and what's right for you, okay? You need to make a decision. If you don't feel balanced in a place or if you don't feel harmonious, then it's not for you, okay? So you kind of just need to live your truth. Say what it is that you need to say. Even if you know you're going to break somebody's heart, it could be a Libra, I feel like you need to start something new completely. Yeah, the universe. Break free. Okay? Equivalent to the world. I feel like the, the the universe keeps on giving you signs and synchronicities about a project or something that you're doing. So this could be your confirmation that you just need to let something go. Maybe for some of you, you've lost a job as well, but it's because you were doing something and that's kind of justice is a part of the karma. Or maybe you're replacing someone and you feel bad about that, but it's karma, okay? But whatever it is with the justice card, it means that you need to do the right thing and be honest about something or a situation or be honest about how you feel about this project or this working with this person or these people or this environment, okay? But whatever action you, t you make, it's going to be the right one for you, okay? Because I feel like you've kind of overstayed your welcome somewhere or you've learned everything that you needed to learn and where it is that you are and it's time for you to start something new okay so i hope that um helped you cancers so let's just pull some general messages now let's clear the energy so this is for my beautiful cancerians let's see so what is the general message for you guys what do you need to know Wow, that flew right on my 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 knee right there, okay? Um, someone else got this. I think it was Scorpio. So you could be dealing with a Scorpio. So we have envy. They're jealous. But what else is new? Hate is going to hate. And we have self-love at the bottom of the deck. All that love you've been dishing out to everyone. Save some for yourself. Yeah. So like I said, I feel like, you know, maybe you're around people that are really jealous and they upset you or whatever. But someone here is envious of you, okay? I feel like you've got a lot of self-love or this is what you need to do right now. So if you are like withdrawing your energy and you're focusing on yourself, people are going to take it the wrong way. Oh, well, fuck them. If this is you and you're jealous, you need to sort yourself out. Okay? But somebody around you is jealous or envious. So just expect that energy, especially if you make a decision that's the right decision for you and for all parties involved. But I feel like it's more for you. Uh, maybe you're around, you're around someone that's always hurting or upsetting you or hurting your feelings or whatnot. They're doing that because they're jealous, okay? But let's just see. We'll see where this is going. Okay, so we have the culinary queen that wanted to come out and then we have the extrovert, okay? So I feel like, yeah, you need to do something for yourself and maybe put yourself out there. Yeah, superstar is underneath that. So, you know, you could have been hiding or, you know what I mean, but the culinary queen, for some of you, you may have like fantastic cooking skills, okay? And you want to start off your own business when it comes to like a catering service or something like that. But this kind of just represents that you have the flavor, you have that magic sauce, some of you could be very exotic and that is what the problem is or that's why the envy is coming out. But somebody could literally be jealous of your your cooking skills, you know, especially around this time. You know, it's like family um, Christmas and shit. So I don't know, maybe you're going to bring around like, you know, a pie or something that you've baked and then everybody in the family is going to be mad as fuck and just like, oh, my goodness, like you could just learn how to do it or just ask me for the recipe. It's not really that deep. Like, do you know what I mean? <laughs> I don't really understand. But I feel like you're cooking up a storm here. OK. You could be socializing as well, or maybe that's what you were doing and it's saying, you know, whatever this is, just do stuff for yourself. Whatever makes you feel good, that's good for your personal development. Okay. Also, again, be careful of the food because I feel like someone's going to try to do something or put something in your food to spite you. Like, you know, like if somebody knows that you're allergic to something or something doesn't agree with you, someone may put something in your food um because they're jealous so just be very careful of that like if if somebody offers you food just be like no I'm, you know i'm 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 good like make make stuff yourself or make sure that you're watching someone when they're making things okay 
Because I feel like you're around someone that could be quite spiteful. Especially if it's like a family member or something. You know what I mean? Or somebody could be trying to drug you in the food or something. I don't know why I'm get, getting these messages. But I just don't understand what's happening. I don't understand, you know. <laughs> yeah, deep knowing. When you know, you know. I just feel like... Because something just doesn't feel right. Like, because the culinary queen with the envy card. Like, what's really happening here? So, yeah, just if you feel like something isn't right, just trust your intuition. So, like, you know, someone gives you, like, offers you a drink or offers you food. And you just, just say that you're not hungry, even if you're starving. Just be like, mm -mm. you know, you know what? I'm good. Because I just, you know what I mean? I just, I don't know, man. I don't, something just doesn't feel right. Yeah, we have bless and um, bliss out of the bottom of the deck. Okay, so I feel like for some of you, you're supposed to be a performer or some kind or be on a stage or, you know what I mean? You're just being celebrated or this is your destiny or you need to do something that makes yourself feel good this could literally be going to a concert or a festival or something okay it's going to be different for different people but this could be what the envy is because you're somebody's jealous of your spotlight or something like that or you're being recognized for something that you do and with the culinary queen that's kind of like the magician that's someone who's very skilled they can put different things together and make something out of it and everyone's like oh my god how did you do that you're just like i just i don't know it's just me <laughs> It's just me, honestly. Okay, so let's just get some clarifications on this energy. Please clarify envy. Who is, oh, cancer. I'm like, who am I reading for? Oh, we have the Knight of Wands, okay. Could be dealing with the Sagittarius. And then we have the Six of Pentacles. Could be dealing with the Taurus, okay. So you're getting some kind of support here. Somebody could be coming towards you to support you as well. Also, somebody could be jealous that you're getting attention. So they're like, okay, you know what? What do I need to do to get the cancer's attention? You know what I mean? This could be you as well wanting to leave that job or that place or something. And someone's like, okay, do you know what? Fuck it. Like, how, yeah, what do you need? We have the six of pentacles and the three of pentacles. Like, what do you need? <laughs> With the lovers, someone's like, what do you need? How much money do you want? Do you want to raise? Okay, someone doesn't want you to move on. They don't want you to go. Somebody also could be jealous about your creativity or your um flavor you know what i mean i mean i don't know what's going on here people your motivation where you're going in life how ex um the fact that you're like an explorer you know i just don't know but i feel like someone is charging in i feel like as well somebody's jealousy mo like pushes them or fuels them to do something so if this is like a relationship thing for example i feel like someone is jealous that they don't want you to get any attention so that's what motivates them. Like, you know, if you're dealing with someone, they kind of act aloof and you're just like, okay. Then you go off and, you know, do what you need to do. And all of a sudden they get triggered. So I feel like someone's going to get triggered because they're going to get jealous because, you know, people are admiring or adoring, adorning you or something like that. Do you know what I mean? Or this could be like at a cookout or something where someone's trying to impress you with their food, but you're kind of like, you know, mm, oh my goodness, this tastes so good. Like you're in love with someone else's food and someone's like, okay, I don't really know about all of that. Try my dish, okay? I don't know what's happening here, okay? I don't know what's happening. Please clarify the culinary queen. Okay, we have justice that wanted to come out again. I don't know what's happening for some of you. You could have significant Libra placements. But I feel like whatever you do, you do it just right. Perfect. You have a perfect relationship with food or with alchemy, okay? You just know how to put things together and make shit happen. You're also getting like a karmic justice, like reward, okay? So like, I feel like, I feel like whatever's going on, it's karma. But I feel like karma is in your favor, but it's not in someone else's. And that's just... It is what it is. Please clarify deep knowing. The Eight of Swords. Someone feels trapped or stuck in their mind or in their own delusions. Could be dealing with a Gemini. I feel like there's something that keeps playing over and over and over in your head. Because this is clarified by the deep knowing. So just know it keeps recycling for a reason. So you're right. Whatever this is, you're right. You just know. Like, yeah, with the Justice card, you're on point. You're on point. Or the Libra is on point. Because maybe a Libra is trying to tell you something. You're not listening. Someone could be jealous of the fact that you're on point also. Or you have like a deep knowing, a deep connection to spirit and, you know, the ethers and things like that. And then we have strength for the bottom of the deck. Yeah, somebody's like, you know, and then we've got the five of cups underneath that. I don't know what's going on. But I feel like somebody here is very strong, very composed. Okay, they can't be swayed in any way. 
also you know kind of irresistible look at that titty right there like oh well hello so i feel like somebody could be envious of your strength and your power and <coughs> excuse me you know, because you have self-worth and self-love and self-value. The, the ability to be able to say no and to control yourself. Because not a lot of people have self-control. I feel like you do. Maybe with the culinary queen, you don't overindulge because you know it's not good for you. Some people don't know how to say no. Or you could be like resisting someone. And it's making them charge towards you even more. I mean, I'm seeing getting so many different messages here okay or it's taking all your strength and all your might to kind of say no to something especially if it's food but you kind of just feel like something ain't right yeah somebody could have put something in the food to try and keep you trapped i don't know what's happening here i don't know but someone's trying to trap you or somebody's mentally conflicted here or you feel like somebody's trapped or some let, let you know what because i hope it's not imprisonment because i'm kind of seeing that with the justice and the eight of swords let's just see please clarify the eight of swords what's the eight of swords about okay it's the queen of cups and the nine of swords somebody's like something to do with somebody's emotions or their feelings here yeah and the temperance somebody wants to kind of um temper a situation out maybe reconcile with you they may want forgiveness in some type of way So if somebody's afraid about how you feel about them or about a situation, because this would be you, Cancer. And in this card, she kind of looks very happy and satisfied. But somebody here stressed the fuck out. Double Gemini energy here. Could Someone could be a Gemini moon because, you know, Cancer's ruled by the moon. And we got that here with the deep knowing and we just had a full moon in Cancer. So I feel like somebody's stressed about something. Maybe they're stressed about something that you know about them. Hmm interesting okay so let's just get additional messages we have needs it says do you need more time to yourself a break from thinking too much an encounter with a friend your needs matter it's time to honor them yeah so like i said doing things for yourself okay and then we have, yeah, move. It says a long walk is good for the soul. Get outside and allow mother nature to lift your spirit. So yeah, I feel like some of you need to move on, move away from something or get into actual nature and you know, you'll get all the clarity that you need. Okay, but I feel like your needs matter in a situation. Maybe somebody wasn't comforting your needs or maybe you're just doing something that's best for you, but someone's mad about this or they feel bad about this, but I don't think it's you, but it could be. Okay, just pick a place, pick a person, pick a position. Thank you so much, Cancerians. I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you did, feel free to comment, like, share, and subscribe. Bye.